And now, she said a name when she was speaking and she was talking about her mama being a Naomi in this generation. And we have an, a Naomi as well with us this morning and I don't think it's a coincidence. And by the grace of God, she is going to, I'm going to be bringing her up on stage right now to minister to us. Yes, she's a daughter of this city, born and raised in Akure, Ondo State. I thought you would be excited about that. Amen. She's a prophetess, an evangelist, taking the word of the Lord to the nations of the earth by the grace of God and also impacting the lives of women and girls through her NGO, Women in Need of Guidance and Support, called WINGS. This morning, Winning Edge Conference 2023, she's going to be bringing us the word, a word. Please let's make very welcome, if you love her, make some noise and celebrate the grace of God upon her life. From N. Herald's Ministries, Prophetess Naomi Shilekwola, a round of applause. Put your hands together for Jesus. You are clapping for God, you are clapping for the Son of God, you aren't clapping for me. Make some noise, make some noise. Somebody shout! Can I hear a woman who is winning on this side? Come on, give Jesus a shout! Hallelujah! Amen! Glory to Jesus. Let's be seated in the presence of the Most High God. I'm excited to be here. This is one of my best um is one of my best words to say being excited to be in a place like this in a garden like this and to be privileged to speak to wonderful gracious women that the lord has blessed on this platform that our mother and reverend the matriarch of this ministry and the convener of this program my mother Reverend Mrs. Funke Felix Adejumo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for leading the path for us, Ma. And uh, my father, the bishop is here too, Bishop Felix Aderemi Adejumo. God bless you, sir. Tadini Kawa is blessed to bear your name. Give Jesus a shout once more, one more time. Um, thank you, all ministers of God present. I celebrate you, I bless you, Prophetess Faith. God bless you for the wonderful word of God. Let's open our Bible very quickly. Let's open our Bible to gospel according to James. James chapter one. We are reading from verse 17. I'm going to be speaking for a few minutes and in that few minutes, I'm going to title the short exhortation. With God, there is no shadow of turning. Praise the Lord. What did I say? There is no shadow of turning. There is no shadow of turning. And I want you all to know that you are light. What did I say? Every child of God is light you were brought forth through light and so there is light in you every woman you are light and when i say that there is no shadow of turning that is there is no circumstance or situation that can ever change the faithfulness of god that can ever change the functionality of light in your life nothing changes it the location will not change it. The circumstances will not change it. In fact, there is something you are going to learn in the few minutes I'll be speaking is that light gets excited in darkness. The beauty of light shines through in darkness. It shows more. That's when you see. That's when you appreciate light. And so the circumstance you are in or the location you were battered or the family you are married into, or whatever, wherever you are, does not change, will not change the functionality, the greatness, and the miracle behind light. Praise the Lord. I will read 17. That's James 1, 17. 
He says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And cometh down from the Father of lights. Where is it coming from? That his light is not one. Praise the Lord. In a state, a woman is not made. It's not going to be just one woman winning. You are made to win. In your family, the winning is not for a woman. Wherever you are, the winning is not from, for a woman. In your race, the winning is not for somebody alone. You are a married woman, the winning is not for your husband alone. He said he will lead you, but he did not say that you will not win. Praise the Lord. It's not going to make you a failure. The presence of another light is not going to destabilize another light. Praise the Lord. For as that light shines, you shine. He says he is the father of light. Every good gift, whatever you are seeking in your heart, we all have a task. That's why we are here this morning. We had women on the winning hedge. And then we are thinking, I want to be a woman on the winning hedge. I want to be one of those women who are winning. And so if you come to a place like this, you are, you are desiring in your heart that you are not staying where others may dwell. Praise the Lord. There's that hymn that says, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Praise the Lord. On heaven's table and where love and joy and light abound. Others may dwell where failures abound. Others may dwell where it is normal. Praise the Lord. How many times do you think I have asked God to make me normal? Praise the Lord. And then after saying it, I realize it's not for me. Because you cannot be extraordinary and be normal. Praise the Lord. Nothing about you, your history cannot be regular. When they talk about you, there must be something extraordinary. There must be a wow effect. There must be that thing. There must be the high. Praise the Lord. What did I say? The tempo must not be regular. When they are talking about you, what makes your life distinct is that thing that is strange, that is different. It is the highs of it. Praise the Lord. You cannot be extraordinary and be thinking about being normal. When you enter into an occasion, you want to make a statement with your fashion sense and you are afraid to make mistakes. Praise the Lord. You have to be fashion forward. You come into a place and you want to speak. Have you ever seen a genus that is normal? Tell me what is normal about a genus. I've never seen. Your miracle, your greatness must be so intimidating that when people want to pray for it, they first of all think about the abnormality of it. That, hey, can I cope? Praise the Lord. Am I going to be able to carry it? It must be heavy. Praise the Lord. Your garment of glory, your shoe, wherever you have, must be too heavy for anyone to just walk into. You can't wear a regular size. That means everybody can borrow. Praise the Lord. That means everybody can use it. Tell your neighbor, say, I refuse to be a regular woman. Don't you dare be regular. Even in your husband's life, woman, you cannot be regular. So that when he loses you, he keeps looking for you. Praise the Lord. Because you can't be like the rest. You have to be extraordinary. And they will say, what manner of man is this? What manner of woman is this? For when Jesus, the son of God, came, he was different from John the Baptist. He was different from the disciples. He was different from the apostles. He was different from every prophet that they had seen. And they began to say, what manner of man is this? For he makes the blind to see. And he does not have locks on his head. And he eats and dines with drunkards and politicians. What manner of man is this? It is that thing that is extraordinary about him. And when they were going to crucify him, his departure was a grand one. Am I talking to you? 
different from all the martyrs. And so those who crucified him looked at him and said, hmm, you must be the son of God. There has to be something different about you. Praise the Lord. What am I saying? Everybody, everybody. Somebody shining a light does not mean that you should say, ah, I had that dream, oh. I have that vision, but I don't want to do that business again because somebody else is doing it. Praise the Lord. You do not carry the same destiny. Am I talking to you? Know in your heart that God made you a unique light. That when you shine, your focus should be on shining. Am I talking to you? Better than every other light. Because God is the father of many lights. Praise the Lord. What did I say? He says, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. What did I say? Sometimes the difficulties that we face is not because God has not empowered us. We were born ready. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to you? See, everything you will become in life, as you are coming into this world, God deposited everything in you. God already made you ready. Praise the Lord. And that's why I say God creates queen. Am I talking to you? What are queens? Queens are rulers. Praise the Lord. Queens are not synonymous with tiaras. Am I talking to you? A queen is that person you look at. And naturally you see the grace there. Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say you are a queen. There is a natural crown that comes with you from above. And it shines. There are many lights, but this one is supernatural. If you want to see the beauty of everything here, we can switch off the lights. And you put on the lights of your phone. And then you see how wonderful light can be in darkness. The reason you are still sitting now as a regular person it's because you are looking at your environment and saying, ah, well, if I believe God was going to do something, not anymore. With the situation of Nigeria, with the economic situation of this country, with the man that I have married, let me start supporting him. Praise the Lord. A lot of women get married and forget that they are somebody that the Lord has made. Look on. You just sink. And sometimes the lights that you are even fanning, the flame you are fanning and fanning. Praise the Lord. Just because God said that we made him the head does not mean he's the head inside your household. It doesn't mean that in the community will be the head though. Some men go out there and just shrink. I'm not insulting men. Praise the Lord. But I'm just saying, let your light so shine. Praise the Lord. Let your light so shine. Knowing that wherever you are, whatever the circumstance may be, there is no shadow of turning with him. The light will not stop because darkness came. Praise the Lord. That's the problem we sometimes have. We stop walking because light just went off. Praise the Lord. Oh, this place is too thick. Put on the light. You are the light. Praise the Lord. Read the book of Genesis chapter 1. And you will see that the Bible says that in the beginning, the heart was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of the Lord was hovering above the waters. But the moment he said, let there be light, was there any wandering again? The spirit was not hovering again. Everything started to fall into place. Recognizing who you are, recognizing who God is, is the first step towards victory. It's the first step towards freedom of everything from anything that holds you bound. You must know that God is not going to change because of a mistake that you made. Praise the Lord. God is not going to change. The light will not stop shining because of that. There are diamonds in the rough. Praise the Lord. Does it sound sweet in your hands? Does it take away the value of the diamond because it's in the rough? 
Come out of the rough and shine through. Come out of your hiding place. That was what God said to the house of Israel. In the book of Ezekiel, they say, so they say that our bones are dried and we've been taken apart from our body parts. And we can't be nothing again. And he went to their prophet. There's a prophet God has sent to you. I don't know how impossible your situation is. But the Lord who spoke through Ezekiel. And he said to Ezekiel upon the valley which was full of dry bones. He said, Ezekiel, can these bones live? Ezekiel said, thou knowest, Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know how was your situation is. But it was a really bad situation. For Ezekiel to say, you are low, yeah. You are low, yeah. Oh, so fish, bad, are you are low, yeah, baba. That was the song Ezekiel sang on that mount that day. And God said, Prophesy, because the light was in Ezekiel. Woman, prophesy. He said, Prophesy unto these bones. The breath will come upon them that they may live. And immediately, praise the Lord, life came into them with the house of Israel. That has been saying, no, we can't be anything anymore. There's nothing we can do anymore. I want you to look at Jacob. From the womb, he was a beloved, praise the Lord. Even God said, Jacob, have I loved? A lot of you, God loved you before you ever knew anything called God or any or any, any power called God. He loved you. But you hate yourself too much and that's why you cannot attract the love of God. You keep condemning yourself and nailing yourself to the wall. You keep giving grades and mark. Give that to the examiner to do. You write the exam. You can't be the examiner and the person writing the exam. Give God, the, the, let him grade you. When man comes to you and they say he's a casting down, my friend, the scripture says, the examiner in heaven, he says it's a lifting up for you. And so nothing can hold you down anymore. From that point that you know that there is no shadow of turning with him. You won't call Oda me. You won't call Obi me. Oh, the man sorrow. Be a little Mary. God who creates out of mysteries the most beautiful, valuable raw materials are very ugly. And you know, when you see them, if you don't recognize them, you would never know. But God who called out light out of darkness. And the Bible says darkness became confused. My dear woman, who wants to win? Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Your problem is not prayer. All that you need is confidence. Jacob was born ready, but the circumstances of life made him run, made him beg for space, made him beg for everything that was supposed to come to him naturally. Because he was afraid. The presence of fear is the absence of faith. I'm talking about confidence in God. Knowing that there is no shadow of turning with him. You see, change the way you pray. From saying, oh God, when will you arise from my sake? Go back to saying, God, I am lifted. I am lifted above sin and sorrow into your presence oh God and in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore you can't sit in the right hand of God and be experiencing sorrow and be experiencing disappointments when you are the right hand of the father you just stand with God all the intimidation of Saul of Esau when Jacob encountered the spirit of the living God, he came out confidently as Israel. Come, when you know you are light and that God has not changed. See, God knew Moses. That's the last thing I'm going to say before we go and pray. 
God knew Moses because when he was born, his face was different from the faces of every other child. His parents looked at him. The Bible didn't say that his parents were prophets, praise the Lord. But they looked at him and could see some lights shine exceedingly that they don't need to be prophets. They would know that this is a light, praise the Lord. And they say he was a goodly child. But circumstances of life, a prophet was raised in the house of magicians. But that made him bolder than any prophet. That made him grander than any prophet. And when it was time, things started to happen. Sometimes the storm in your life is because the ancient of this is coming. Everything that is happening to you now, when it shows up, there will be a calm. Because it's the one that is riding on shirots of fire, on shirots of storm, stormy ones, and you will be afraid. See, wishes and wizards will live until more sunny, and that's what I'm talking about. That's because your father has arrived. Tell your neighbor, say, I've arrived. Because when your father has arrived, you have arrived. Oh, praise the Lord. You are lifted. You are lifted. Moses was afraid that I have committed murder. Nobody wants me in town anymore. I'm in exile. I'm this, I'm that. See, all those times you are complaining, the spirit of the Lord is quietly walking, tiptoeing and following you. It got him to a corner where he was alone. Maybe the crowd is your problem this morning. Separate yourself and see if the Lord will not work wonders in your life. And he was alone and the spirit of the Lord came to him. Moses, who was a stammerer, went back to the king of Egypt. Interpreter or not, the miracles he wrought in Egypt was the interpretation of the presence of God in his life. Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet and say, Lifted, I am lifted, I am lifted by the Lord. You are not saying it like somebody who knows. Above sin and sorrow into the presence of the Lord. I say lifted. I am lifted. If your heart is heavy, I am lifted. I need you to dance like somebody who is lifted by the Lord. And look beyond the troubles. His decision is final. My light shines true. I am lifted and I am a victor. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.